the touch back. Okay, good. So now it's working. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. How do you and then I heard you guys have the NFC <laughs> Yes, look at it. Alright, so uh, yeah. Okay. We just need some help for the tool. Yep. Okay. Okay, great. Do you have a part? Yeah. yeah. This is great. So this does have an NFC chip in it too, right? That's what you were just displaying? Uh, it, it's not NFC. It's our own proprietary technology. It's built around our touchdown technology. Oh, but it functions in a similar way? Yeah, we go to that. Okay. Swipe it. Nope, that doesn't work. No, you swipe so down. John, swipe down. Swipe down. Uh, we're looking at the HP no, Touchpad, this one is which is out. HP's new tablet. It's a 9.7 inch, 1024 by 768 display. Um, you, know, you can tell beautiful, brilliant IPS technology. Really looks great for many angles. Okay, what does it weigh? Uh, it weighs right around, uh, we'll do it in uh, Euro terms, right around uh, 740 grams, which is about 1.5, 1.6 pounds. Just keep playing with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what can you do? So the best part about WebOS and about the touchpad is multitasking. So we say it's a tablet that works the way that we do. We know people don't work on just one thing at a time. So we created an OS that's really flexible that allows you to seamlessly switch between all your open apps. So right now I've got an email message going. I've got my uh, some notes I'm taking. I've got my full email inbox here. I've got a flash website open all at once. Another neat thing I can do is actually organize my applications the way I want. So I can just touch an app and drag it over into what we call a stack. So think of all the times you're planning a vacation or you're trying to do something for a work or work project and you need to have a bunch of different kinds of apps open. You've got a browser open, you've got Know, response to someone over the well, with stacks, you can put them all in a really nice, neat, elegant uh, stack so that they can apply. Uh, so it's really easy to organize and manage your work. When do we expect to see these? You'll see these on July 1st in the US. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, launching the touchpad in retail. Yeah, I like uh, 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 so we'll launch a 60 gig version for $99.99. So this cradle is our touchstone charging app. And touchstone is really amazing technology. It's all adjusted charging. So if you look at the dock, there's no metal, there's no connectors, nothing really difficult for a user to, uh, to manage and deal with. But what happens is I take my device and I put it right here into the dock. And see, it just kind of showed me the calendar for the day. And you can see here on the little uh, battery icon, it's not charging. So I think of the convenience of having to, you know, kind of plug it in with the connector or, you know, get it situated in so a dock. You literally just make it drop it in. It's like it's like your, your phone as well. Yeah, we have the same technology that we use for our phones. And, um, you know, it's something that's really unique to WebOS products. Can you show us something that moves on there? Um, it, it, uh, uh, um, well, maybe. There may be some names on this device. I'm not sure. Uh, we've obviously done quite a bit of work to uh, to get some of the uh, top game developers on the platform and top apps. So I think everyone will be excited about what we have when we do uh, put the product out in uh, just a couple of uh, about a little over a week here. So that that out. Oh, I.O., we've got a micro USB. We've got a 3.5 millimeter. It might be a rough build. It's probably not the space of the release date. So it was designed with the body of the mod. And we worked with the size of the stick. And that's to optimize that experience. Power button, volume button. And 
then two nice stereo speakers that have really smooth separation so you get an actual camera. Uh, the camera's a front-facing 1.3 meter.